Hello everyone, welcome to Rasayan Academy. My name is Jagriti Sharma and I am an educator on the Unacademy Plus platform also. So guys, uh, this is a continuation video basically in the series of discussion on CSIR UGC NET December 2019 exam questions chemical sciences. Alright, so I will be uploading more videos discussing the questions of the latest December 2019 exams. Alright, so let's first discuss our first question for today. So guys, uh, this is the question I have taken over here from section B it is. The major product formed in the following reaction is. So this is a very simple reaction which is given over here. So this is our dibromo, 1,2-dibromo cyclohexane and it is the trans isomer. Okay, and the base which is given over here is tertiary butoxide, potassium tertiary butoxide. <clears throat> so as you can see, this is a bulky base over here. This is a non-nucleophilic, non-nucleophilic bulky base. Alright, what do I mean by that? The thing is, if it is non-nucleophilic, then it cannot give SN2 or SN1 reaction. It cannot give nucleophilic substitution reaction so by that we can just directly cancel out option number four because here we can see that here uh, nucleophilic substitution has happened all right so which is not possible also there is one more thing that even if the nucleophilic substitution takes place then it must have been like this it must have been written like this from the opposite side basically okay so if the isomer is not the same okay so even if the sn2 substitution takes place on these two carbons then also it must have been inversion right but uh, definitely this is not the case also it is a non-nucleophilic bulky base so nucleophilic substitution is not going to happen similarly in option number three we see two uh, two reactions one of them is a substitution on this carbon which was connected to bromine okay so one of them is substitution and the other one is elimination because here we see an elimination product all right so definitely guys uh, as we say it is a non-nucleophilic base so this is also our incorrect option okay let's talk about option number two so if we look over uh, look at this compound over here this is our one two dibromo cyclohexane and it is the trans isomer so if i draw the confirmation the chair confirmation it looks like this so uh, you will be able to predict very easily that if we want the e2 elimination i hope that we have uh, studied a little bit about elimination there are three mechanisms it is e1 e2 and e1 cb all right so if you have a little idea about them it is really great okay so what does e2 elimination require the stereochemical uh, requirement of the E2 elimination is anti-periplanar position. Alright, it is the anti-periplanar position which means that the hydrogen and the bromine must be anti to each other like this and then only a base is going to come take up the proton and it is going to push away the Br minus. Similarly, if the molecule is like this which is in the reagent reactant then let us see are there any hydrogens anti-present yes there are two hydrogens anti-present so one of them we can say let's say this one is anti to this bromine right over here so definitely the elimination is possible and the other hydrogen over here on the other carbon is anti to this Br. So definitely guys, if we want to do the elimination, this is the base, bulky base, tertiary butoxide, taking up the proton and the bonds are going to move like this. Similar is going to happen on the other side and we are going to get, and we are going to get a diene molecule. This is our cyclohexadiene that we are ultimately getting. So this is a two elimination product. So back to back two elimination reaction has taken place over here and this is our answer. Okay, what if we want to evaluate option number one, let's see. So in option number one, there is only one elimination which has happened. Alright, for example, 
this is our br over here or let me just write it in the conf conformational form so uh, even if we want to eliminate only one br then it is not possible over here this product is not possible over here why because the bromine if it is like this then there must have been a hydrogen over here for uh, the elimination to take place to give this product so this product would be possible with cis isomer let me just show it to you once what am i trying to say all right so for example we had the cis isomer like this this is over here axial position and this is also below the plane but equatorial position so now if i am doing the elimination okay with the tertiary butoxide base all right then this is the anti periplanar position that i get and now i can say i have this isomer okay so basically this isomer would be formed if we had the cis isomer of 1 to dibromo cyclohexane so here it is also not possible right okay so our correct answer is option number 2 let's proceed to the next question so uh, this was question number 40 in section b the major product formed in the following reaction is so we are having this thiophene derivative okay and the react uh, the reactant is thiophene and the reagents are nbs which is our n bromo succinimide it is n bromo succinimide okay so basically guys we see two types of example for the nbs so if it is uh, if it is reacting in the presence of light then it is going to the nitrogen bromine bond is going to break homolytically and it is going to generate radicals like this but for example if it is normally breaking in the presence of heat or let's say in a normal reaction then it is going to break heterolytically and it is going to generate a bromine electrophile all right so nbs can be a source of bromine radical or a bromine electrophile depending on the conditions now the thing is guys if you look over here then you will be able to realize this is our benzoyl peroxide all right and we know already this is a radical generator or a radical initiator okay and it is going to give two of these carboxylate radical which is further going to dissociate into phenyl radical as well as carbon dioxide okay so uh, definitely if this happens if the radicals are formed then even if we are not using light we can do this uh, uh, cleavage homolytically because a radical is already generated in the medium okay and it is going to help nbs in cleaving homolytically to generate the bromine radical now what else is possible so guys this is our thiophene derivative all right and it is going to form for example this is the ph radical and it is going to take up this hydrogen from here this is just a possible reaction pathway all right so if the radical gets formed then this is the most stable radical which will be formed in the thiophene derivative why is it stable because of resonance we can see it right so it is stable because of resonance and now ultimately we get our bromine radical from the homolytic cleavage of n bromo succinimide and this is the product so there is one more thing that i would like to tell you that i just told you the whole process but ultimately if you look at nbs and if you see that this is our allylic or benzylic uh, carbon then nbs is in the presence of light or in the presence of a radical generator like this it can give allylic or benzylic bromination okay this is the specific reaction of nbs and definitely this one is a allylic position if we see over here to yahan pe ho jayega bromination this is the product okay rest all of them we are not going to see because we directly know 
that this radical is the most stable as compared to all the other radicals over here or over here or over here okay because of resonance so definitely answer is option number one okay let's move forward and let's see another question so guys this is another question from CSI uh, net December 2019 exam so the question is asking what is the major product formed in the following reaction all right so what is the major product formed in the following reaction so here we see an epoxide and a Lewis acid which is BF3 okay trifluoroborane so definitely guys if it is a Lewis acid it is going to take away electron density from oxygen right so I hope that you must have have uh, must have an idea of what is going on and definitely guys you can stop the video and try it by yourself as well all of these questions okay so ultimately this is a very simple question and for example guys if I open up the epoxide because there is going to be a plus charge on oxygen if it donates the electron density the lone pair to BF3 to it, uh, there would be a positive charge on oxygen so if I just open the bond if I just open the bond like this there must be a positive charge on this carbon yes so either the epoxide can be opened from this side or the epoxide can be opened from this side as well this is again BF3 and this is a positive carbocation over here positive carbon over here so now look at this guys this is a 3 degree carbon 3 degree carbocation and this is a 1 degree carbocation so definitely you will be able to predict this way that which intermediate is going to follow okay so let's proceed with this intermediate and let's leave this one because it is a less stable intermediate over here okay so if we want to proceed with this one either what you can do is either you can show it like this that the bond is going to fall over here and one of the hydrogen will come up like this okay either you can show it like this to uh, to the product which will be obtained similarly if I show it like this also alright so for example up guys dekho yaha pe already a carbocation has formed so if a carbocation has formed I can no longer write this bond as above the plane rather what should I do is I should write it planar I should write it planar okay so if I am writing it planar then definitely uh, there are two methyl groups already present and this carbon has a chance it has a chance to uh, uh, decrease the steric hindrance definitely and if it decreases the steric hindrance it goes below the plane alright so if it decreases the steric hindrance it goes below the plane like this okay and there is a hydrogen transfer from this oxygen okay and the product can be written like this there is one more way of showing this directly all right as i've already told you let me just draw it for you there is one more way of showing it that for example this was what we were drawing BF3 positive charge on oxygen okay so what I can do is I can directly move this bond away and open up this ring like this okay and in that case also let's let's maintain the stereochemistry at these two carbons okay and in that case also there is going to be a double bond over here like this and a oxygen BF3 like this so this is more of an enolate this is our boron enolate like this so if I draw the enolate like this and definitely if I finally do the aqueous workup then what is going to happen we are going to get this ketone just like this that uh, I had written earlier we are just going to get the same ketone okay and since this is a double bond again it is planar just like the carbocation before again it is planar and it has the option of selecting its more uh, stable configuration then what it is going to do is 
the methyl goes below the plane and the enolate is going to convert into ketone all right so this is another way of writing it there are two ways of writing the same thing uh, first of all what i did was opened up the bond like this and formed a planar carbocation so this is also planar and it can invert its uh, stereochemistry similarly what i did was i just uh, transferred the hydrogen bond directly and opened the epoxide like this okay just in one step then also the this is this carbon becomes planar because of the double bond so both ways you can write it like this okay so first one is the answer of this question okay now if you look at all the other molecules you will be able to realize that never is this double bond going to go in the second ring because there is no uh, use or basically there is no functional group over here which can be transferred to create the double bond similarly this option is a less stable one because we have just directly ruled out carbon uh, one degree carbocation like this so we are just going to rule out question uh, option number three because it goes through a less stable carbocation similarly similarly the generation of this alcohol is also not possible because we are not having a base over here so how can i make this one i can only make this uh, option number four if i'm having a base a strong base how is that so let's see so for example this was our epoxide okay so if i'm having a base also that that also a non nucleophilic base otherwise it will do sn2 attack over here if i'm having a very bulky base it is going to take up this proton and open up the epoxide like this to give this alcohol but we are not having a base in the medium it is the lewis acid so it is the acid rearrangement over here which is taking place okay so in the presence of a lewis acid the epoxide opening is taking place and this is also incorrect all of these options are incorrect okay all right guys so these were the questions that i have taken over in today's session in today's video and more video are going to come up uh, uh, with the same uh, december 2019 question so guys if you want you can also visit my profile on the unacademy platform so there are uh, i would like to tell you there are three things one is a free course then the other is a special class okay so these two are free special classes are also free free courses are definitely video recordings or just like in the youtube okay and also there are plus classes in which we try to complete the syllabus along with the mcq question all right so for the june 2020 preparation i have already started these courses okay so you can visit my profile if you want and definitely watch some of these i hope that they will be helpful to you and the plus platform guys is a paid platform so if you want you can use this code for the subscription thank you so much for watching guys we'll be taking more videos we'll be making more videos on the same uh, topic and if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe and also share with your friends if you think that the content is worth it thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video